Good day, future LPTs. So I hope that you have um, enjoyed uh, viewing my previous videos. So in today's um, review video, we will be discussing about potential difference. So this is one of the topics in electricity and magnetism. So what is potential difference? So it is also known as voltage. So I presume that you have already heard about the term voltage. Now it is the difference in the amount of energy that charge carriers have between two points in a circuit. So etong battery, ito yung tinatawag natin um, voltage source or the potential difference source. Now this potential difference carries energy diba? in two points. Difference of energy in two points. So, ano ba yung two points? The positive and negative uh, ends of the battery. Now, uh, yung light bulb kasi may resistance yan. So, kung uh, for example, yung lalabas, uh, magpa-flow na current from the positive terminal is Sabi mo, 2 amperes, dahil sa resistance, pwede yun mabawasan at maging 1.5 amperes, for example. So, ayun yung tinatawag na difference of the energy carried from the two points. So, it is the potential energy difference across its terminals for every column of charge. Ayun yung explanation kanina. Now, it is the pressure from an electrical circuit's power source that pushes charged electrons current through a conducting loop. Now, kagaya nung sinabi ko kanina that this battery is the potential difference of or the power source. Now, ang trabaho na itong voltage source na to is to push the electrons para mag-flow yung electrons. So, ulitin ko that the purpose or the role of this uh, voltage source is to push the electrons para mag-gumalaw yung electrons at yung paggalaw na yun ang tinatawag nating current. So, this current uh, occurs in a conducting loop. And, itong nakikita nyo sa gilid is what we call the conducting loop. So, the formula for potential difference is V is equal to I multiplied to R is equal to volts. Now, uh, meaning voltage or potential difference is equal to current multiplied to resistance equals to the unit of volts. A potential difference of 1 volt is equal to 1 joule of energy being used by 1 column of charge when it flows between 2 points in a circuit. So, meaning guys that 1 joule is equal to 1 ay, 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per column. Ulitin, that 1 volt is equal to 1 joule of per column. So, this is the visualization of how voltage or potential difference works. So, we will build a uh, DC circuit. So, this is the yan, source of uh, voltage, yung battery. Then, wait on wires, then um, switch. Tapos, light. Now, as you could see, di ba, 
um, nagpo-flow yung current due to the potential difference. Now, if re we remove this, yan, what will happen? So, walang dadaloy na current. Yan, hindi magpo-flow yung current. But, if there's a potential difference, which is this battery, then magpo-flow yung current. Now, as you could see, if we increased the uh, potential difference or the batteries, so mas lumakas yung um, light, de ba? Na nanggagaling sa bulb. Now let's check the values. Yan. So we have eighteen. Um, voltage and 10 ohms in the light bulb itself. Now we will check the values of the current and 1.8 ampere. Now try nga natin i multiply. Um, uh, ang equation of voltage is V is equal to current multiply to resistance. Now, 1.8 ampere multiplied to 10 ohms is equal to 18 voltage or 18 volts. So, yan. So, tama yung equation. Now, what if we increased the resistance? Lagay tayong resistor. So, as you could see, mas humina na naman yung light kasi mas less yung rate ng pag-travel ng um, current. And, yan, nag-half yung current. Electric potential. Before we proceed unto this concept, we must first understand the uh, concept of work. So, what is work? The work is equals to force times displacement. So, in an object, kapag inexertan to ng force at na-displace yung object, meaning, there's a work. Diba? There's an energy. But, kapag ang object, no matter how much force was exerted upon it, unto it, so, at hindi na displace yung object, so meaning there is no wreck. Uh, what do you mean by displacement? Displacement is moving from its original um, location unto their uh, end location. So, electric potential. So, sabe that it is the amount of work energy diba? to move the electric charge from reference point to the specific point in the electric field. So, unahin natin, ulitin ko, that electric potential is just the amount of work. Diba? It is the requirement, a required amount of work energy para ma-move yung electric charge from the positive terminal diba, papunta sa kanyang uh, specific point sa electric field. Diba? So, yung reference point natin is the voltage source. Okay. At kung saan man siya papupunta, yun yung kanyang specific point sa electric field. Pero yung, yung uh, movement nila, yung acceleration nila is negligible. Ibig sabihin, hindi nakapansin-pansin. Kasi kapag masyadong mabilis yung pag-travel ng electrons in the electric field, so it causes spark. And ayun yung tinatawag nating radiation by the test charge. Now, this is the formula for uh, electric potential. Now, voltage is equals to 
voltage in the point B minus voltage in point A. So, kapag dinerive naman ito, it, ito yung um, formula. So, a change in potential energy over charge. Okay. Voltage is equal to change in potential energy over charge. So, the potential difference between points A and B or voltage B minus voltage A yan, change yan is thus defined to be the change in potential energy of a charge moved from A to B divided by the charge. So, units of potential difference are joules per column given the name volt after Alessandro Volta. So, yan. So, ang unit is 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per second. Uh, 1 joule per column. Kagaya na explain kanina. Now, if we derive the formula, so, put, uh, change in potential energy is equal to charge multiplied to change in voltage. So, let's proceed to the sample problem. Suppose you have a 12-volt motorcycle battery that can move 5,000 column of charge and a 12-volt car battery that can move 60,000 column of charge. How much energy does, does each deliver? Okay, assume that the numerical value of each charge is accurate to three significant figures. Now, there's two um, situations here. First is the motorcycle battery that can move 5,000 columns. And the second one is a 12-volt car battery that can move 60,000 columns of charge. Now, we will proceed to the solution. So, based from the given, ang binigay kanina is the value of uh, charge and the value of voltage. So, obviously, the formula would be change in potential energy is equal to uh, charge multiply to change in voltage okay so let's first um solve the motorcycle battery okay so change in the potential energy of the motorcycle is equal to 5000 charge multiplied to 12 volts okay now, yung volts, penalitan ng joule per column. So, 5,000 column multiplied to 12 joules per column. Now, um, we will cancel column. Yan. Kasi, uh, numerator yung column sa 5,000 and denominator yung column sa um, voltage. Now, we will cancel it. At ang matitira lang ay joule. So, the value will be 6 raised to 4 joules. Okay. Now, let's proceed naman sa car. So, 60,000 column multiplied to 12 volts. Do the same process. We will cancel the column. Now, multiply 60,000 multiply to 12 and that will be 7.20 raised to 5 Joule. Okay. So, that is the uh, uh, solution of the problem. So, I guess naintindihan naman how to solve the electric potential and uh, work 
uh, based from Rick. So for more review videos, please hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to be updated sa mga bago nating videos. And I'm sure na kapag sineryoso nyo ang panonood sa mga videos ko, sigurado makakapasa kayo.